Alright guys, welcome to your 16th video, and now that we got the basic styling done, what we can do is we can style these individual buttons, and this is actually incredibly easy. So what we want to do now is, let me give you some, make sure you guys can see this. Alright, footer, menu, li, hover, and I actually, I probably could have just copied that, and I will. So basically, whenever you're hover overing a button, which means that the drop up appears, what you want to do now is we want to work on the styling of those individual list items. So basically, whenever you hover over it, these individual sections, calculator, group chat, image editor, that's where we're going to be styling. Those are the list items inside the buttons. Pretty cool, huh? So the first thing we want to do is do some basic make sure they don't look weird so float none make sure they don't like you know uh, drift off to the right or anything background is none and this is just because we don't want it to inherit the properties of these list items which are buttons remember all of these are floating to the left so in case it inherits that we don't want that to happen now for the border as you notice each of these items right here there's a little black line separating um, you know calculator from group chat so on and so forth and to make that little black line we're gonna steal the same effect that we use for this the first thing we want to do is we want to set not broader border okay move my freaking cursor border equal to none so now they have no border at all however we do want that black line so we actually only want a border on the bottom so for the border bottom we can just have you know one pixel solid and we might as well just use this you can either make it black or you know whatever color you want so one pixel solid uh, dark gray or black pretty much now if I just ran this program like this what would happen is these would be very bunched together and it would pr pretty much look like you know text like this you see how this text on this line and this line are very close to each other however on this you have a little padding above and below it and also to the left of it you want that because you don't want your text butted up right up against the left hand side so for this we just add some padding and the padding for this is 12 pixels 10 pixels 12 pixels 10 pixels and I want to make I don't want to do the shorthand of this because if you guys want to adjust you know maybe you want them to be bunched together or spread apart more to look like individual items then go ahead and adjust your padding accordingly but this is how I have mine set up I think it looks pretty good so that is all you need to style the drop up menu for this program so this programs button is now perfectly styled like I said it's basically remember this programs button is a list item it's basically an entire list within a dropout menu that's all we're gonna do in the HTML now the next thing I want to do is I want to style what we're gonna be working on is we're gonna be working on styling these things right here the dropout for the account profile in the two column layout now again like I said it's a little bit different than this because what I did is I'm gonna show you guys how to make a one column layout which you can see right here on account two column layout so if you want to have two columns like one right here and one right here or three column layout where you have one two three now any thing you need more than a three common let three column layout you might as well go ahead and make a freaking web page because you know this right here it it's a navigation menu above everything you don't want to put a ton of content in your navigation menu if so you might as well just stick it in a freaking web page so three columns max you are not allowed to make anything more than three column so what we want to do before we start styling all the drop-ups and making them appear like this is we just want to add some overall basic styling now the very first thing we want to do is style the links now the link color we want them to be as you can see we want them to be kind of a dark gray so the reason that we want to do this is because whenever they're gray and we hover over them we can turn them to white and it will look like the links are glowing so as you can see make the default links gray and then when you hover over them 
it'll look like it's glowing and it gives you a really cool interactive effect so let's go ahead and add a comment first um, drop up default links so that's where we're gonna be styling right now and this is actually really easy 